question number one. Can you do a live Q&A? Yes, I will. Actually, I will do that next week on Tuesday at 9 o'clock Central European time. American, Australian. I know Australia is asleep. I'm sorry, I just can't do something at 1 o'clock in the morning so everybody can participate because at 1 o'clock I'm probably too tired. <laughs> What was the GPS mapping program you used on your walk and is it an iPhone, Android or some other system? I'm actually using an Android currently. The application is called NOM and it looks like this. You actually have the possibility to update your weight. You get like a weight graph, then you can start your workout and it shows you where you are and how far you're walking. I love the app. I I'm only using the free part. There's also like a cardio trainer which costs money. I'm not using that. So that's the app. Next question. You mentioned you went to uni. What did you study? I studied digital media. Uh, I have a diploma or a degree, however you call it, because they changed the whole system. So basically I have a degree in uh, computer science. We call it informatic which would be translated informatics, but they told us we shouldn't use that. We should use computer science. So basically I know a bit of everything, but I don't know nothing. Uh, you're living with your parents. Are you thinking about having your own place? If not, why? I actually wasn't living here because I was studying, so I wasn't here. And after that I started a job nearby where I was studying, which is 200 kilometers away. And then I basically was in Den Haag, The Hague, Munich, Saarbrücken, Frankfurt. I basically was traveling a lot and then I got a job nearby at a client's and so I decided to move in here part-times because it was just easier to get there instead of driving like 150 kilometers each day. So I stayed here and after a while I actually started my own business and then I dropped out of the company and it's just cheaper to stay at my mom's and that's what I'm doing, but I'm definitely moving out here soon. Mom, I, I know you don't like that and um, you want to keep your children here, but I, I know how it is to live alone and I know how it is to live with someone. And I used to live in a room sharing facility, which was pretty cool. I kind of miss that. Do you like living in a rather small town? After visiting Cory and Kate, your town must feel tiny. No offense, I live in Munich. I feel like it's a dwarf, like town. I have to say Thousand Oaks isn't as big, but LA is, and I have lived in LA for three or four months, but LA is pretty big. And I came around because I was a PA for a production company, so I was traveling quite a bit. I know LA pretty well, well, not all areas of course, but some areas. Big cities are fun, but I'd rather be in a small town. I would like to live in California, but I mentioned that before. <laughs> So, next question. How did you get to know Cory? Uh, um, YouTube. I, I actually can't say more because I just started watching his videos, we got into talking, we became friends, I was at his wedding. So that's how I know Cory. YouTube is the answer. How old are you? Older than Nathan and Cory. <laughs> yes, I'm old. Don't judge me, I feel like 17. And what is your main job? So as I mentioned before, I'm a freelancer currently, basically I have my own company and I started it with a friend of mine, she's currently pregnant, actually no, she's not pregnant anymore, she just got her baby, I have to visit her tomorrow, and we're doing image films and websites for companies, say so it's hard, economic crisis and stuff, so people don't actually have money for videos, that's why I'm struggling right now with money. How often do you travel around Europe, especially in Galen? I try to travel as much as possible, seeing Nathan and so on, and I went to a lot of YouTube gathering this year. I went to Sweden, I went to a couple of meetings in England, I went to Berlin, which is basically almost further away than England for me, because I'm in the south and Berlin is up there. For you it's up there. France, because France is basically like an hour away, so I go shopping sometimes there, but not often. <laughs> so it's more like grocery shopping. Anywhere else? Europe? No, I think that's it, but I have been to England quite often this year. What is the costume you're wearing? In that video I was wearing actually no costume. <laughs> I saw the picture of Sylvia G and I was like, I need to do that look. So I recreated the look. Um, the picture is called Native and she also did the sugar scots. So you might know her. Actually I was wondering, is it always a Mac that you are editing upon or are you using a P PC as well? 
I can't afford a Mac and it actually doesn't matter because I'm using Adobe Premiere and it doesn't make a difference because it works on both operating systems. I was working on Mac like four years in my old company so I'm used to having a MacBook Pro which has its advantages but on, also on the other hand disadvantages. I'm basically a PC girl. It was awkward. Sometimes we had a meeting and um, at the beginning I only had my PC and my laptop and I was sitting there and you had all the clones because they all had like a MacBook Pro and I was the only one with a PC so I was different but at least I wasn't a clone. <laughs> I'm kind of proud. What is your favorite YouTuber? Okay, that's obvious. Cory. He was the reason I started YouTube. There's a video on YouTube where I'm talking about why are you on YouTube. Check it out, it's in the description. There's one person I'm actually watching, despite what topic, despite whatever, if the thumbnail is bad, it's Gunnarola. I love Gunnarola. He is funny, he is creative, he knows how to create weird and crazy things, and he can make music. And uh, in person he's just, I want to hug him all the time. I saw him at VidCon a couple of times and I think we hugged every time we saw each other. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> he just feels like family, like a big, big brother or a small brother. I guess you're younger than me. Your favorite type of food and favorite plate. Okay, that's pretty easy because everything which comes in a bowl and can be eaten like this and tastes yummy. That's yummy. And if I have to pick a dish, it's um, curry. And I like vegetarian curry because for me it doesn't matter if there's meat in there because you, doesn't, you don't taste the meat. And that actually um, is a good hint for the next question. What is your opinion on animals? Which do you like best? Discuss. First of all, I'm a vegetarian. Mostly I'm a vegetarian because I don't like fish that much, so basically I don't eat meat at all. <laughs> I'm sitting on my feet. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, we have to change this. Back to business. Um, which animals do I like? I like dragonflies. I like colibris or hummingbird as you call them. All sorts of cats, even those. <laughs> no, I like lions, I like small cats, I like crazy kittens. Yep, yeah, all different types of cats. Dogs are fine too, so I'm not necessarily a cat person, but I grew up with a lot of cats. Chameleons and unicorns. I'm an animal person. If you're watching a movie and there's like a, an animal which is tortured or killed or something, I'm almost crying. Sometimes I even cry if it's like anime or a cartoon or something and if an animal isn't treated right, I cry. It's a cartoon. I cry. If they're killing people, I whatever. <laughs> but if they're killing animals, I feel really bad. Animal person. If you want to have that thing over there, I'm actually selling it on eBay for charity and the money will go to an animal shelter. <laughs> Some people ask me which cameras I'm using for vlogging. So I started off with a normal flip. The flip is good for time-lapsing. I wouldn't say it's a bad camera, but if you're switching it on and you're holding it like this, mainly get that frame and that sucks. And if you're moving it, it just doesn't work. So I upgraded to this when I was in America. I didn't want the camera Corey and Kate and Nathan and Charles Strip and so on used, are using actually, because it's very small and if you have it in your hand, it could easily chop. And with my cats, I already ruined one. I wanted something which is a bit bigger, which is in my hand. The annoying part with that camera is the flash opens directly, which is stupid. It doesn't make sense at all. But there's a trick. You can just hold it here. The mics of this camera are in front. And the mics on Cory and Kate's cameras is on top. Cory and Kate's camera is better for shielding the wind. If you're talking towards it, it's better. The mics are in front. Whatever you're choosing, choose wisely. But I would say in that sleek, the cans are pretty good. Where does Nero sleep? Does he sleep at random places? Actually, he has a couple of spots where he likes to sleep. Currently, he even sleeps in our shower. So he is lying there and he sleeps. But he has his uh, favorite spots, like on the, on the couch there, uh, downstairs on the, um, on the chair. And when he was little, he basically slept everywhere. And last question. I discovered a video that Cory did explaining everything about himself which I found most helpful and interesting, which made me a big fan of his work because I totally get what he is about. I would love if you would do one. Like I mentioned at the beginning, there's a video 
the same thing Corey did. Why are you on YouTube? If you want to do that, do your own version of it. I link mine. Um, I could link Corey's and a couple of others. I'm planning on doing a series of videos like growing up in Germany, how is it to live in Germany and so on. Tips about blogging and all that type of things. Okay, that's it. That's the 15 questions. We do a session about blogging next week, Tuesday, 9 o'clock my time. You can sign up with Twitter, Facebook and so on. Think about some questions. Um, I will answer specifically about blogging in that show. It's probably one hour depending on how many questions you have. It will be recorded, so you can rewatch it or we can rewatch it. It's my really first show like this. <laughs> I try to set up everything so it works. But if it doesn't, um, just be a bit supportive, please. Yeah, I hope you like that. If you have more questions, leave it in the comments. I will do that more often now. And um, I will also use the other questions you gave me, but I thought it's a bit much if I do everything now. That's it. It's 23.33. I might edit this video and go to sleep. Or I watch an episode of Gossip Girl. <gasps> I'm watching Gossip Girl. No way! Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you are still watching, I'm very proud of you. Oh, it sounded like Serena. No. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Have a great week. I see you tomorrow. I start my vlogs again. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Ah! Ugh. Ah! And please go to King of the Web and vote for me. It's down there. You have 10 votes every day and we could win something and I could share it with you. So, vote for me!